Hi, Dyslexic Genius here. I'm working on this VIC-10, and it's two spring barrel motor, and I started to take the springs apart, and I talked about pins, and there's a pin missing right here. There's no pin in here. And then this gear fits on, and then the little pin, in the later video I'll show you, it fits in here and holds everything together. Where did the pin go? I have no idea. And, that, and this fits here like this. And you can see how I'd been rubbing on the gear without the pin because the gear probably just ran like this. Sounds to me like a spring broke on this once because when I come around and you see how this is bent over. Bend it back. You can't bend these back because the first inch and a half or two of the springs on the inside and the outside before they roll them up and make them a spring are annealed. That means they're softer metal. So on the outside spring like this, it pulls. But on the inside spring, it bends around like this. So if you have the spring bent over, like this one, and you go, oh, I could just pop this back. Well, every time you crank it up, this piece of the spring is gonna go like this, and you've weakened this line, and pretty soon it's gonna break. And what happens is, I, I've talked about videos when, you know, how do you take the motor apart? And I go, always let the motor run down, take off the governor, and then there'll be a little bit of zzz. But if you just go all out, say, okay, I'm just gonna unbolt this, it'll all come flying apart at you. And it, it goes south very quickly. And on this one, the back of this, this spring barrel, this round piece that looks like a washer here to everybody, is really the bearing that fits into here and that's been ripped out. Also, there's a lot of wear on this shaft right here that runs into the casting over here. So this all have to be polished out also. So let's get this recessed barrel like this, this plate off. And I got my separator tool. I have a video on this. You want to just hit it gently at a 45 degree angle. And you rotate over a little. Ah, there it is. So we'll take the end piece off. That all looks good. And it looks like Uncle Bubba, I always use that, the spring broke. And someone tried to fix it with a nut and grinding out the spring like this. Okay. Okay, so what it means is it broke here. And then they shortened it while it was in the spring, in the spring barrel. So what we have to do now is put two springs in this because this is the only way to do it properly. And I, I do these videos to show you how to fix phonographs the right way. And I use Uncle Bubba as an adverb about who tried to fix it before me. Because we knew an Uncle Bubba. We knew an Uncle Bubba that does that, messes everything up he touches. Uh, I don't get paid by Patreon or YouTube, but I do this so everybody can learn how to fix their phonographs properly worldwide. I do get phone calls and emails about that. And that's my tip for the day.